Hey y'all, here's a quick video on how a four-stroke gasoline engine works. Uh, this engine here is a three and a half Briggs off of push mower. I'm just using it for an example. The basic principle is the same when any four-stroke engine. Uh, this is a flathead engine design, which means your valves are in the block. They're also called an L head because it looks like an L. I'll show you here in a minute what I'm talking about there. Anyway, I got your head bolts out. Your head mounted on one with six bolts, like that. I got all them out. <clears throat> Here's your spark plug. Right there's the inside of your head. It's called a flat head because it's flat. <laughs> right there's your spark plug on the inside. And this is your head gasket. Just a piece of metal with uh, pits in it. And this is your piston. This is your intake valve, and this is your exhaust valve. Now on these, this is called an L head, because L, upside down L, like it. And, okay, when your piston's on the top like this, it's called TDC, which is top dead center. And when your piston's at the bottom of the stroke, all the way at the bottom, that's bottom dead center, BDC. Okay, your four strokes on a, any four stroke engine. Uh, this is the same for an overhead valve engine. The only difference is instead of your valves being right here, your valves will be on the top opening like this. Uh, okay, your four strokes. This is your intake stroke. Your piston is coming down, causing a vacuum in the cylinder, and your intake valve opens at the same time. And your mixture of gases, gas and air, coming from your carburetor, which on this type of engine, this is like your intake manifold. Your carburetor is mounted on the end of this pipe right here. It comes into your valve port, which looks like that. Okay, let me turn it back around so you can see it all. When it's open, your piston is sucking in your mixture of gas and air. Now, your intake valve closes. Piston comes back up, compressing, compressing the fuel and air mixture. And at this point, your spark plug fires, and it explodes in the cylinder, forcing the piston back down due to the high pressures. Then, when you, when the piston comes back up, your exhaust valve opens, allowing your hot burnt, your hot exhausts, exhaust gases out of the engine. And of course, your muffler will be right here, which in this this type of engine just screws right in there, just like that. That's how it goes. Okay. Again, go through it again. It's your intake, which the piston sucking in the mixture of air and gas, and this is your compression stroke compression compressing the mixture and this is your power stroke where your spark plug fires forcing the piston back down then your exhaust stroke as the piston comes up the exhaust valve opens allowing all your burnt gases out of the engine that's your four strokes now if you notice right there both your valves are barely open for a fraction of a second that's called your valve overlap a lot of racing engines with bigger cams, this is bigger, which is what causes the rough idle on uh, racing engines with uh, high lift cams and high overlap cams because some of your exhaust gases are going back through the intake valve and it's trying to re-burn the gases and it misfires sometimes like that. Uh, now, to give you an example of how fast all this happens, I'm going to put my drill on the crankshaft. This would be the equivalent to uh, about an idle speed, a low idle speed. That's about your uh, idle speed would be on a probably about a thousand RPM, probably less than that actually. But gives you an idea how fast it actually happens. A lot of people think the uh, spark you have a your power stroke every time your piston comes up so every, every for every one rotation 
of your crankshaft, people think you got your spark plug fires. That's not true. It takes two revolutions of the crankshaft for your complete cycle. Now, on these type of engines, your spark plug does fire every time your piston comes up to the top. That's just because your coil be mounted right here. This flywheel is not put on right. But these magnets would be on top dead center. This don't have a flywheel key on it. It'd be, that'd be top dead center like that. And your magnets would swing by past the coil and cause a spark on your spark plug. Well, I guess that's pretty much it. Went over the basics of how it works. And again, uh, it's the same for any four-stroke engine. Now on a two-stroke, it's a whole different whole different engine setup. We'll get into that in another video. Now on a two-stroke engine, your piston, you, you do it does fire every time it comes up. So it fires every time the piston comes up. That's the way a, a two-stroke engine works. Four-stroke engine takes two revolutions per power stroke. So, well, I hope that helps you explain, understand it. Uh, try to explain it my best. So, well, that's about it. Thanks for watching.